I got an email recently asking about transistors and about tubes and how they function. So I thought I'd uh, put together a little video here and compare the two as to how both of them work. Now of course the way that they're constructed is vastly different but uh, the way that they function is uh, really quite similar. Here's a diagram of a typical triode tube. In the rest of the drawings I'm not going to show the filament. We're going to say that in all the rest of the drawings the filament has the proper voltage and the tube is ready to function. Here's a drawing of both a transistor and a triode tube. I'm starting with the NPN transistor and at the top you can see it's labeled collector, base, and emitter. Triode tube is labeled plate, grid, and cathode. At the bottom shows the polarity plus and minus that has to be observed to make both of these function properly. You can also see that the input signal for the NPN transistor is the base and the input signal for the triode is the grid. The output for the transistor is the collector and the output for the tube is the plate. Here's a closer look at both the transistor and the triode tube with their parts labeled. Here's another look at the polarity requirement for the NPN transistor and the triode tube. We also have the input labeled and the output labeled. And as a German professor used to say to me, this is the Gazenta and this is the Gazauta. Here's a drawing showing the PNP transistor and the triode tube. You notice that all the parts are still labeled the same, but the PNP transistor, the arrow is pointing in the opposite direction. Also the polarity of the collector and emitter are reversed from the NPN. Here's a closer look at the labeling of the PNP transistor and the triode. Pretty much the same as the NPN. But notice that the emitter, the arrow, is pointing in the opposite direction. And what I want to point out is if you go back and take a look at the NPN, and if you take a look at the PNP here, that arrow is pointing toward the negative source. And still, this is the Gazenta, and this is the Gazauta. Now the biggest difference, besides the filament for the tube, the biggest difference between transistors and tubes is transistors require much less voltage to function than do tubes. However, the functionality of a transistor and a tube is very similar. 